Hey guys, Jack here. I'm coming back at you with another video. Um, I'm gonna start start up a new series that not new. I'm gonna like that I did a couple months ago. I stopped just cause I don't know time and stuff. Not really time. I don't even know why. Um, and it is baseball card collecting for beginners. I think it was called. So uh, this episode. We're going to do, uh, kind of like, how to store your cards. Like, not store, how to protect them. And not when you're shipping. This is for, like, just when you have them at home or in your card room, wherever you're going to keep your cards. So, let's guess, uh, let me do a little bit. So, first off, let's just go over some of your basic, basic card storing things. You have your penny sleeves. These are cheap. Use your dollar, pa dollar pack. A lot of places you can find them for less. You can buy them in bulk online for really cheap. Penny sleeves. Put almost. I put almost. I put most of my cards inside of these. Not all of them. I'll show you which ones I don't. But yeah, penny sleeves. Essentials. These are the bare minimums for any card that has kind of like almost any value for you. Uh, next up, you got your top loaders. Once again, kind of the essentials. Get these like used for really cheap, or even like new, for, like pack for a couple bucks. So uh, these are also great, harder, help like from bending, corner, like dropping it, stuff like that. These are also the essentials. And then here we also have uh, your thicker top loaders. These are just for like thicker cards, like jersey cards, mem cards, sometimes there's thicker base cards, numbered cards, you know. So that's why you need some thicker ones. It's also thicker sleeves. I didn't, I didn't bring those out, but you have those too. And then you have your... Uh, be the gritty quarter sleeves the team bags you know you can put these on the top loaders or even some mags which I'm going to show you in a minute to keep them the cards clean keep the mags clean the protector clean keep dust from getting out these are I only use these for like uh I don't use these for all my cards and top loaders some people do which has to each his own but uh yeah and then next we have mags these are kind of the most common things I didn't have just a spare mag lying around so here's one with the card inside of it these are magnetic heart holders. They keep the card sturdy in place. Keep any very sturdy, very thick, very strong. Held by a magnet right here. And these are usually put your, your better, your best cards inside of these typically. So, uh, and I put I put mags over all my team bags. I mean team bags on or grady cards on all my mags. And actually, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me show let me show you grady card then actually. Here's the first grady card I found over there. It's nice. It's a PSA 10 rookie of Carson Wentz. And these are graded cards, you know. Get them graded. They put them in these nice holders. They're nice sturdy. They're kind of, they look pretty cool to the eye. Keep the card very safe. So that's, if you want to get your cards graded. Not only to make them worth more, and it's kind of cool to have them graded. It's also, it also protects them very well. Um, there's a couple more, like, oddball things. Not really oddball, but, like, less used nowadays, especially. These are screw downs. Most people don't use these anymore. They kind of like ding the corners. They're kind of similar to mags, but in my opinion, probably just not as good. So yeah, that's screw downs. And right, then you have these ones. These are uh, card holders, card savers, semi ridges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these ones are kind of they keep the card from moving, which keeps like uh, the surface good, the corners good, but they're really not very sturdy. So you know they can drop a bunch of cards. Some might get bent and stuff. And these are mostly used now, especially for vintage. People like to put the vintage inside of these. And then uh, if you get cards graded, usually they prefer if you ship them in these. Which I don't like shipping in these, so. Those are some other things. Uh, so let me show you like, what I basically do. So like base cards like this. Cards that are worth 10, in my opinion, 10 cents or less. That I throw in my 10 cent bins or even less. I don't really put in penny sleeves. I just leave them like this. Because you know, I mean, they're such cheap cards that I don't really... I'm selling for 10 cents and I put the penny sleeves or a cent a piece. Doesn't really make sense to me, honestly. So I don't really sleeve these ones up. Um, cards I put like in my 25 or dollar cent box, dollar box, I put all those ones in penny sleeves. And as you go up, you just because I say put this in a top loader, you don't not put in a penny sleeve too. You put in a penny sleeve and then a top loader. So you know, I put these ones in penny sleeves. Is it a penny sleeve does a world of difference? It keeps the corners. If you put, have it in a box, it doesn't move for years. And just gravity is going to wear away at the corners if there's no penny sleeve. But if you have a penny sleeve, penny sleeve it'll help it stay, uh, help the corners, help everything. So penny sleeves are must-have. You need these. Uh, next, 
top loaders. I put all my cards that are um, two dollars. Any cards that are two dollars up my in top loaders. Sometimes even dollar cards I put in top loaders sometimes. And my PC cards, I put them like more careful. I put almost all my PC cards in penny sleeves, even base ones. Almost all my like nicer, like even like inserts in top loaders for my PC. But uh, yeah, top loader penny sleeve. This is like just a rookie card of a uh, Emmett Smith. But yeah. I put this in like a two see like it's worth like two bucks. So I put it in the top loader. And then next, for me personally, all my cards that are worth over ten dollars, I put in the penny sleeve top uh top loader, and then I put the top loaders in tea bags for all my ones that are worth over ten bucks. And I am uh, just like repricing a bunch of my stuff right now. So like this Tyree Kill, I think I had it as five bucks before. It's, I looked it up, it's worth a little bit more than that actually. So boom, I put it in a team bag and it looks keeps the card looks nice. Feels nice, keeps the card from dust and getting out, especially these shiny cards. I don't think the shiny cards, you don't want to touch the surface. Or any chrome cards, because that, you get a fingerprint on it, and it's, it's not good. You don't want that. So that's that. And then next, mags. Mags are kind of the highest event. They're also the most expensive. You know, sometimes mags, sometimes it's really thick cards, where a lot of times a mag is more something than a card you're going to put it in. I've seen that before. But uh, anything from that personal, I think, is worth over 50 bucks. I put into a mag, so like this Hopkins is nice, really nice RPA, three color patch, rookie, uh, one off his jersey, number 925, auto, from 2013 Rookies and Stars Longevity, uh, this one is worth like 55 bucks, so I put it in a mag, I have to go, go out and get some more mags, so I have like, what, two cards so far that I found that are worth like, one's worth like 50 and one's worth like 200, I know that they're worth that much, but I didn't have mags for them, so... That's personally me. That's just how I store my cards. Um, you know, it's to each his own. However you want to store your cards, is that you can do you. I'm not going to judge. It's not for me. It's not my place. But, uh, yeah, that's just what I do with my, with my cards. Um, let me know. If you want to let me know down in the comment section what you do, how you store yours, feel free to. I'm always looking for new ideas, new things, new new ways to store. It's always interesting to hear how what other people think other people's perspectives and what they think and do so uh yep that's it for the video guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe uh leave a comment down below telling me how you do if you're just collecting let me know if it hopefully this helped you and i am out see you